Hey guys, my name is Juliana Palencia, aka Jujubee, and for today's video, I partnered with Briogeo to show you guys how you can use finger coils to give you super defined, moisturized hair that lasts over a week. Step number one is to cleanse my hair and I like to use a cleanser that not only gets rid of all of the excess oil, sweat, and grime from the week but is also gentle on my hair. So for this I'm going to be using Briogeo's Curl Charisma Hydrating Shampoo and I love the fact that it does not contain any harsh sulfate so that I feel comfortable using it not only on my scalp but on the length of my hair as well. To detangle and deep condition my hair, I'm using the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I applied this to my hair to detangle my hair and then I left it on for about 15 minutes. So after rinsing my hair with cool water, I used my leave-in defining cream to help re-moisturize my hair and hydration is number one with any style that I do because hydrated and moisturized hair equals frizz-free and shiny hair. So I'm applying this all over my hair first and then I'm going to section it off for the finger coils. So the only product I'm using for my finger coils is Briogeo's Coil Custard. My main concern for my hair, like most curly girls, is dryness, frizziness, and breakage. Some of the Coil Custard's key ingredients are chia seed oil, flaxseed oil, and rice amino acids. And I kid you not guys, this Coil Custard made my curls so soft. My hair has not been that soft and I don't even remember. So I was really, really impressed by it, especially because it's silicone free too. So the next step is the actual finger coils. To do finger coils, starting at the roots, I take a really small section of hair and start twisting that around my fingers. With my left hand, I'm holding my curl to not only keep it smooth and tight, but I'm also reducing the tension and pull at my scalp as well. And I do this all the way until I get to the ends of my hair, and then I'm left with these really beautiful spirals all over. So to show you again, step one is to apply the coil custard. Step two is to brush through my hair to not only get rid of the tangles, but to smooth my hair out because the smoother I get my hair before I do the finger coils, the less frizzy they'll be. And then next, I twirl my hair starting all the way from the roots to the ends. Finger coiling definitely does take practice and patience. It took me a little bit over an hour to finish my entire head so I was really excited when I got to the last section but it's really worth it for me because it takes a little bit longer but my hair is so defined and it actually lasts much longer than my regular wash and go. So two tips that I have for an amazing finger coil is to use smaller sections because this will lead to a less frizzy results. And then the second tip is to use a product that moisturizes your hair and has hold. If you use a product that is way too heavy or is really, really crunchy, your hair might look way down in the end and also take forever to dry. I realized with the Briogeo Coil Custard, I had both the moisture and definition and my hair dried really, really fast, which meant less frizzy and super defined results. After sitting underneath the hooded dryer for 20 minutes, I waited until my hair was 100% dry before I separated my curls. Separating your curls is the key to getting more volume to the finger coils so that you have hundreds, maybe even thousands of curls all over your head. And it also helps to give it a more natural look. So to separate my hair, I go from the roots to the ends and then I like to reinforce the curl at the bottom in the same direction that I did the finger coils in. 
The end results of finger coils are so many beautiful, moisturized, defined curls. I typically like to put my hair up into a pineapple on day one. That's just to stretch it out a bit. But each day throughout the week, my hair will get longer and more voluminous and the curls will stretch out a bit and it will last a whole week with lots of definition too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.